Yo guys and welcome to the next episode of the Stoke City career mode and I know it has been a while and I had some issues so I'm very very sorry but we're gonna upload very very consistent from now on. I'm trying to gonna do it five or four no let's say four times a week and if I can I will make even more. But for now we have a match against Watford we're just playing our strongest side as always. And we start off with a great interception here by Richard Libazur over to Boyan. Boyan, can he break his curse? It's Boyan and he misses. He is cursed. This guy can't score for us. It's such an annoying thing that he can't make a goal happen. Now it's false back to Toliso after a corner. And now the youth. Somehow. What just happened? We took a corner. And it got handed out of the... Uh, out of the 18 yard box, but it fell to. Uh, why didn't you skip the. It fell to Toliso. And he t took a shot, which got blocked, and you somehow got a rebound into the back of the net at the end of the first half. Like, that was a really, really, really strange goal. Like, it somehow got up in the air, f in right in front of the youth, like it was just perfect, but now. The amount of uh, the dangerous cross. Now Richard Lee Bazou and uh, oh no, don't don't tell me this. What is what is their passing like? What are they doing? Not an okay with a rubbish cross. And now Jack Butler throwing it up to Boyan. Boyan back to Bazou. Now Boyan tries to find Werner, who is actually playing at it. I didn't even know I uh, selected him, but Werner, 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 oh my freaking god. Boyan and Werner both have big, big chances, and they are just two players that haven't scored for me yet in an actual game. Now, and now Twitch on the right hand side, back to Bazoo, what a strike! Whoa! How did he get that much power out? That was an insanely powerful shot. What? It, how? Wh I don't. I'm not playing with slides or anything, but that was a really, really powerful shot. He takes it on perfectly. It, it curls as well, very, very nicely. Like you can't barely see it curl, but it actually does. Like it's such a good technique, actually, the, the way he took a shot. And we're tuning up out of nowhere. Against Watford City. Watford City, yeah. Just Watford. Now Boyan making a run over to the youth. Is he offside? He isn't. The youth, what's he gonna do? He's gonna take the shot himself and it's just gone wide. He should have put it across to get it to Boyan. But now the match is over. We got the first win in the first match of the episode with a 2 0 victory over Watford. And there he should have scored. That was the Boyan chance. He should have scored. Come on, Boyan. You have to score. Like, we deserved it. They had nil shots. And they had more possession, but they didn't have a single shot in that match. Like, it was a very, very uneventful match. And that's probably why. But after the match, we, of course, have some more player training. And my training Timo Werner a bit. Because I want him to be a sick, sick player when he gets to his full potential, which is 88. He has such high potential, but he's not showing anything good now uh, to do now. But now we got a Capital One Cup game against Burnley, and I'm playing my as w a weak as possible side because I don't like the Capital One Cup. It's just a useless competition in your first season, especially maybe not in one of your last seasons where you try to win as many cups as you can but I'm actually hoping to lose this one and they make it 1-0 yes Moa what are you doing you ruined the party at least it's a good player who got a goal but I don't want to win this game Barnes makes it 2-1 just don't score another one you have scored one it's good enough and it looks like we have actually lost no fucking goal what are you doing we're going into extra time And they make it 3-2, come on, and now Twitch scores a penalty, and we lose 3-4 penalties. Like, how close do you want to get to winning, when you don't want to win? 
I want to lose that game, but now we've got a game against Newcastle United and we're playing Peters as the left back position and Munez at centre back. Munez is just not made for the left back position, he is more of a centre back. I just don't have a good left back, except for Peters, who's half decent and just not good enough. But boy, yeah, now the curse man. Why am I even commenting to that if you know he's not gonna score? Because he's flipping cursed. Can something else happen? With Boyan again making a good dribble. No, it's a turn and a shot. And it looked so. How did Cool save that? Free kick now with Shakiri and again a good save. And who the hell was that? Who the hell gave that cross? It was Diouf was just in front of an open goal. And just gonna pass it all the way back there. But now Diouf, Diouf, Diouf in the 83rd minute, it's a goal! And once again, one of those typical FIFA 60 matches on Legendary. It's just the most uneventful games. And I have so little highlight to show you. But it's again Diouf, he is such an, uh, he scores such important goals. Are we gonna get one more chance? No, it's the end of the game and we've won. It's a good result though. Very, very defensible game, but hey, we've got three points, I'm not gonna complain. Now, Timo Werner goes up to the 75 rating, he should be now a gold on FIFA Ultimate Team. Munyesa gets an average. Bit. Um, well, it's not what I want to see, of course. But now we've got the big, big game against Chelsea. And they are the best scoring team in the Premier League, so that concerns me a little bit. Because it will be hard to keep a clean sheet. We are actually doing pretty well on that scoreless, too. We have gotten one goal less than that. And uh, this might be a player that uh, has been very important to them, Lorik Remy with his pace and his great striking ability and that was a handball. That was a handball. But they're not in FIFA for some reason. Now Lorik Remy uh, immediately made, make him intercepting and Oscar somehow gets through immediately! But it's of course Jack Butland to make the save. They've now got a corner with Pedro behind it. Takes the corner, gets cleared, but it fall, will fall straight back to Pedro. Passes into Villian and Oscar, doing some little 1 2 football. And we're running down. We're one. It's offside, it's offside. It was a good cross by Villian, but it should have been defended. And how did he actually get offside? Uh, how did he get in the offside trap? He shouldn't have been offside, it was just really, really bad by Angelo Borgi. Now, Toliso making an insane run. As always, he doesn't get off the ball. Now Shakiri cutting him with the skill, he's done. Aspilicuela takes a shot and Foster Nalovic will run him up. But also that goal is offside. How? What are the odds to score? To both score an offside goal. But now Pedro running at the goal. Now Ramirez somehow is getting through there. How did we not tackle him? He's gonna take a shot and that's so close. I know. Jack Butland can't, can keep it on the line. Now in the second half, quarantine to Lisa over to the youth, back to Boyan, who is gonna cut in with the skill move, takes the finesse, and it got saved and bounces behind the line, and we will get a corner, who will be taken by Boyan, over to Richard Lee Basu. Who smashes it home? It's third goal in the Premier League. And it didn't look like he was celebrating a lot. But it's an absolute wonder strike. Look at it. He just gets it over for Gino Bocci and it's too powerful for Kutra to get there in time. It's a perfect strike almost. Like, how do you get it over Gino Bocci to still go in the goal with so much power? It's an insane goal by Bazoura. He, he is most of the time it's Tolisso that does that sort of stuff, but Bazoura shows he can do that too. Now John Terry pushing all the way up here, passing it over to Remy, 
but it's straight at Jack Butler, but Chelsea is putting on the pressure. Now Fabregas over to Remy, who gives it to Cesar Spelequeda. Now Fabregas with a very bad pass, but what is Glenn Johnson doing? They've Glenn Johnson, why? If you just let that ball go, it's it will be a goal kick. But now Remy can pick it up and give it to Miguel, make it 1-1. How frustrating! Eden has it now, getting through to Oscar. We shouldn't be in this position that they did get his chances. Now Shakiri will take this free kick and it will be a dangerous one but Kutra can make this save. He just gets there in time. We do still get a corner, this time playing it short. And over to Boyan. Boyan running around the box and trying to find some options. Now Mamad Yu all the way back to Shawcross who gets it to Boyan. Boyan can he score? He can't! Why can't he score? But he given it to Richard Lee Bazu! Who again doesn't celebrate with against scores! A goal against Chelsea! He is the man of the match for sure! Scoring through two good good goals! This is again a beautiful finish! It's like almost he's so close to getting a perfect strike out of him. And Kutra is beaten and Bazua, his fourth goal in the penalty, scored two against Chelsea. What a performance! Now, surely it's over. Now, maybe we can get him on one more. No, and now Fitch goes down, but it will be the end of the match, and we won 2 1 against flipping Chelsea. Now, we have some training. Timo Werner has some improvement, so does Davis. Very, very close getting 52, and Bazua also very, very close to 77 rating. Now we've got a squad report with James McDonald who looks very 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 exciting and the rest of them don't look promising enough so I'm gonna reject all of them and then we will get back into some more training we've got again a youth academy player in Deacon and I don't know how to pronounce the name yet I'm, I have to uh, figure out how to pronounce the name but I thought it was a good time to show the league team because we are in the first position with 27 points after beating Chelsea which was an important win because we were equal on points Manchester United had also overtaken Chelsea we have the best goal difference together with Manchester United and Chelsea we have the best goals forward together with Chelsea we're not doing the best on goals allowed but that doesn't matter if you got so many points and so many good results and he of course got the teams that are not performing as well so is Arsenal and actually Liverpool is in 15th wow but that will be the end of this episode once again if you liked it please like and subscribe so you will be knowing when the next episode is out and I will see you guys later